All right, so the movie had some holes in it that yeah. taken. <laughs> Called Pages. The action was great, though. He pretty much was bought awesome. her a horrible Mr. <laughs> microphone because she wanted yeah. to be a singer. He is, and then he, at the end of the movie, he gets her to the fucking the real singer. Yeah. And then we realize she has no talent. Yeah. And she runs like a retard in a circle in the backyard <laughs> <laughs> and leaves like horse trail marks. Like, you know, a horse walks in a circle. Right. That's what his cunty daughter did. <laughs> fucking awful. What happens in this movie? Does he break down and say that he could have just saved one more? Does he make a list? Ah, there you go. Now that's a fun-filled movie. <laughs> I'm essential to the yes. war effort. <laughs> this Christmas, take little hands to clean the munitions. <laughs> Santa has a list, and so did Schindler. Yeah. <laughs> this Christmas. Yeah. We invite you. Yes. I didn't know you got invited to Yeah, movies. yeah. We invite you to... Yeah, exactly. They're inviting you to the movie. They're not inviting us. If they're inviting you, it right. stinks. I decline. Let me RSVP. Right. Fuck off. It should be free if it's an invitation. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> going. We, we, got a, we got someone calling in. Uh, their sister-in-law is into rediscovery. I, I want to know what this rediscovery oh, really yeah. is about. Who is, is this bitch? Uh, Jim, what do you got, buddy? Nothing. Hey, uh, happy <laughs> birthday, Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, right. My sister-in-law tries to do this every time these movies come out, but she's like can't fully commit. So she likes to start eating like Olive Garden and going to like alternative church and stuff, and it's just really sick and disgusting and funny. Well, getting back to Eat, Pray, Love, you think there's a lot of women out there now booking trips to India because that's what Julia Roberts did to rediscover herself in this movie, and then it doesn't turn out quite as well. Not as well yeah, as uh, all of a sudden yeah. they're in the slums of India <laughs> trying to rediscover <laughs> themselves. <laughs> And they, they don't realize that, you know, it's movies, and then, you know, so they don't have a lot of money to do it. They just do it half-assed, and it's ridiculous. And it never works out like the movies. She's going to f- some dumb fat slob is going to try to rediscover herself by going to India. The age rate is ninety percent there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not the place to rediscover oh, your sexuality. Yeah. D- yeah, it sounds great until uh, you bring dysentery into it, <laughs> right. and she's shitting her brains out from trying to drink a, 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 an ounce of water. Yeah, she goes to the slums and politely accepts a glass of water. <laughs> it's got toes floating in it, <laughs> and fucking burned out eyeballs and. Flex of paint. <laughs> she drinks it to be nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. All right, right on. All right, enough of that shit. I hate to go there. Thank you, Roland. No one wants to go there. Happiness. I'm going to go check that out. Though. That's great. Yeah, I'm going to check out Happiness. Do you have the trailer for that one? I'm sure it's a little different. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure it's, Happiness was fucking hopping was just a great dirtbag. That I didn't uh, I'm, see. I'm you just didn't? having a. No. I'm having a tough time fucking finding movies I like. Man. Oh, this is really. Hey, okay. this is ninety eight. Andy, are you okay? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm fine. John Lovitz. It's good we had this talk. Yeah. Before things went too far, you know, got too serious. Is it someone else? Director, no. welcome to the dollhouse. It's just you. People are always putting New Jersey down, but that's just because they don't get it. I'm living in a state of irony. How's it going? She only knew how I felt, but she doesn't even know I exist. I oh, bore people. Who is that boring person, they think? I've uh, never before met <laughs> anyone so boring. Sometimes I wonder how any of your patients can talk to you. I should tape some for you. Oh, Bill, would you? Would you really? So I could listen to? I recognize no. everyone in this. You know? It sounds like such a fun... You want a divorce? Did I use the word divorce? You said that you didn't! Did I use the word divorce? Divorce was the best thing that ever happened to me. Really. It oh, like hello, God, how are you? I am fine, how are you? Do you? Do you like men? It's not so simple. Are you lesbian? No. It's all right. I like lesbian. Wow, hey, that was in the old yep. line. This is 88. I'm a passionate 88. woman. Yeah. But I hate... We who have everything will joy. Well, and what about our music career? I don't know, but don't hold your breath. I know to make that this. I don't dare to end my search for Wait. happiness. Happiness, what are you? That's a terrible trailer for this movie. Terrible. That's a terrible cut. They're trying, That's a terribly they're cut for this movie. They're trying to get uh, the girls uh, to come in, I guess. This is dude. probably why it didn't do any business at the box office. Yeah. Everybody dude, thought it was a, so this is, dark. Uh, this movie. It was a shape. Yeah, dude, it's incredible. This I, is a dark movie. It is so, it's so it incredibly dark. It sounds like the dark. same trailer dude, to the kids this are all right that yeah. we just played. This movie is so incredibly dark. I'm watching it, and like every, I don't know, probably about every 15 minutes, I'm going, the fuck is going on? There's wow. pedophilia yeah. in it. What the fuck is going on? That they made it sound like I know, a, that's, a chip I'm flight. sorry, that's a Dude, terrible trailer. No, it's great. It's, it's it's such an such an inappropriate trailer. 
Wow. Yeah, it's it really so is. wrong. That is not representa- uh, representative of, of, this, of this movie. So the Seriously. people that should be seeing it aren't because of the trailer, and then the people that are seeing the movie because of the trailer are very disappointed. <laughs> that that somebody, doesn't make sense at all. Like, I, I could imagine someone's um, wife or mother wanting to see this film based on this trailer. They would have walked out within 25 minutes. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Whoever made that should be fired if that wasn't purposeful. That was terrible. I said that fucking 12 years later. Uh, yeah, now I don't even know if I want to see the movie. Yeah, you know what's funny here? Here's one of the, one of the comments on this trailer. Uh, it says, the most misleading trailer ever. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. See? I'm sure many couples saw the trailer, saw the positive critic reviews, and figured it would be a fun little date night for them. The shock and awe this film would bring to <laughs> those <laughs> types of people <laughs> cracks me up. I wonder if they did it on purpose. Oh, that would be fun. I gag. hope so, because, I mean, like, the subject matter that they tackle in this film, it's, so, it's, it's pretty right there. They want to fly under the radar or something. I don't I'm know, very man. confused by Listen, that. I, I, I wouldn't surprise me. It's such a dark movie. That was just as bad as the other two trailers we That's played. That's the beauty of it. And oh boy, is this a good one. Uh, uh, really? Uh, and uh, uh, one more about movies, I guess. Uh, uh, there was a movie this weekend that I was watching uh, at home. Tangled? DVD? No. And I just stopped watching it. Stopped fucking watching it due to complete lack of interest. Can anybody Grown, guess? Grown ups. Anybody Party guess? Vengeance. What? Grown ups. No, no, no. No. It's not, you wouldn't think it, it, it. It's a movie that was supposed to be good and and was supposed to be something. Comedy. That, nope, nope. Like a drama. Dra- 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 drama. Fucking. It wasn't a rom com. No, it wasn't a rom com. How old is it, my love? Brandy new. Just came out on DVD. Inception. Thank you. I watched the first few minutes of it. I, my my girlfriend liked it. I didn't People see it anymore. People love that movie though. Did, did they? I, I guess. I completely lost interest. I'm watching it, and I was really into it. I'm like, I wanted to like this fucking movie. Halfway through, I'm like, I could give a shit what happens. Wow. And you're a movie guy, big time. Yes. What was the problem? It it lo- it just lost me. It it Was Was it, it too complicated it to was, follow? Uh, no, you know what's not? I won't even, I won't even like, give I don't it feel that. Like it was kind of. I don't of, feel like working at it. I just want to watch something. I was, I was figuring it out. I had, I had what was going on and everything. But it was like, I just had had it. I was like, enough. Whatever. I, oh, I really? lost interest. You just saved me. Completely I'm lost not even interest. Pop that in then. I got my Blu-ray too. Mm. All right. Yeah. Just, but you maybe I'll take up uh, at some point. But were you drunk or anything? I, no, I'm always drunk. <laughs> Jesus. But I, no, no, you know I, what I mean. Were you tired? Were you like, what are the circumstances? No. Uh, Did you have some uh, some team broads? No, it in was the castle. It was just a fucking dull. Like it, it didn't fucking hold me. I felt like the premise was cool. It was a cool concept, right, right. but then in execution, it lost me because I felt like a lot of the dialogue was so forced to explain to the the audience what what's going on and yeah. how it works and stuff, yep. and it just kind of came off as a little cheesy. That was that was a big part of it too. Yeah. Weren't the reviews on that movie really good? No, yeah. They did pretty was well it? at the box office, right? What did Rob yeah, I mean, that... give it? Out of curiosity. You know, and, and just being attached to Christopher Nolan means it's gonna be the best movie ever made. Always. So it's you know uh, it's always very uh, skewed. Always. And then you got Leo. Leo's always a fucking uh Leo. Usually box office uh, almost gold. lost Leo. Let's let's calm down a little bit. What? He was on that flight. That had yeah, that engine yeah, blow out. We almost lost out. to Leo. Putin addressed him too when he got there because he had another flight that the, re- the next flight he took had to refuel on schedule because they had such strong headwinds so they weren't going to have enough fuel to make it. Jeez, what's wrong with that? I know, it was two Delta flights in a row. Look at this Inception 87 positive reviews. 93. The audience, 93%. Most people love this movie. Right? A lot of people love Avatar too. You know? yeah, it's just one of those things. I like the Avatar. Never watched it. that one all the way through either. Shut that fucker right off. You're I a tough cookie, Ant. I am a tough cookie. I like the Avatar. I don't know if I would like it as much if it wasn't the 3D, though. That's your problem. You, don't, yeah, you didn't, I didn't see it in 3D. See, it in 3D. see, to me, I don't think a gimmick makes a movie. You know, like, it either was, the movie's was, good or it's bad, and it, it shouldn't have to depend gimmick, on the 3D. But it was also a, a story we all fucking know. Shouldn't so. either. Well, without the 3D, it blew monkey ass. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm I, just thinking. I don't know if I would have liked it as much if it wasn't, uh, you know, in that 3D Hence world. Hence the gimmicky kind of thing, though, right there. No, but there's 3D movies coming out now that are just pure. You're watching because of fucking 3D. Yeah, yeah like Jackass. The story wasn't that. Yeah, I could sit through Jackass. The story 3D wasn't or not 3D. The story wasn't that bad. It wasn't. Not really. It's a, I found it's Pocahontas. It's to all be, that shit again. It's a story dull. that's been told many times. Boar fest. I'd rather see a guy shitting five feet into the air in 3D. Oh my god.
Which was fun. You, you saw Jackass <laughs> in 3D? Hysterical fun. It, it, was, <laughs> it was hysterical. It was really good. My He's, dad, I was talking about that over the holiday break, and uh, he said something like, uh, oh, like in Jackass in 3D. He's like, I, I told him I saw it, and he goes, he goes, oh, is that good?